Hi, I'm Dave Rossum, uh, founder of Rossum Electric Music, and I'm here at NAMM for our second year in a row. At this point, we have uh, a number of modules in really final form here. Um, as we talked about last year, we have the evolution filter. It's not in this particular rack. We had that demoing last year. This year, we have Control Forge, which has been shipping since October. We have the Morpheus um, Z-Plane filter, and that is shipping as we speak right now. WMD is making for us, and it's just beginning to go out the door. And coming in about two months, uh, we've placed the production order and everything is done on it. The satellite uh, control voltage generator that is the extension of Control Forge. Um, you can see I'm pretty excited about it because we have four of them in my rack right here. Um, so this is the first time I've really gotten to play a lot with satellite and discovered what it can do. So uh, um, uh, if you're familiar with Control Forge, it is a universal CV generator. It lets you generate these really complex contours and it has a very deep and rich user interface uh, with the beautiful uh, um, OLED display on it and so on. The satellite has all of the functionality of Control Forge, but uh, it's intended really to just give you additional outputs, additional capability, and that's exactly what I'm using it for here. Uh, this patch that I've got set up, um, uh, the Morpheus has, as, as you may, may understand, three different control voltage parameters. There's a frequency, a morph, and a transform parameter. Um, I'm controlling that with these three different satellites here, one for each of those control voltages. The other thing I'm doing, and this is really fun, um, satellite has uh, its own control voltage inputs, and uh, for my demo, I want to be able to use different waveforms for the different uh, filters in Morpheus. So I'm using this satellite as an analog switch. So um, it's not really generating any control voltages. Instead, it's just switching between routing its control voltage in to the Morpheus audio, but it's an audio switch as well as the control voltage switch. So um, uh, I can show you, this is kind of fun here. I can plug the control forge output here and put it into its utilities mode here and tell it we want to send it to the module. Then I can take each of these satellites here, get all four of them ready, On these, we want to receive from the other module, get them all ready. So they're now waiting for it. And all I've got to do is push this button and all of the contents of this memory will now program all four of these satellites. So watch the little progress bar there. They've now all received their data, away we go. And now all of these are programmed identically to the control forge over here. Um, you can see that this one remembers that it's satellite one, satellite two, satellite three, and satellite four, because each has its own sequence in it. Now when I go to demonstrate the, the Proteus, or the, the Morpheus, I am now plugging the trigger from this control forge, I'm just using it as a push button right now, into these satellites. There's no audio happening right now, but uh, as we can see from the Morpheus up here, because this one is programmed so that the source is silence, uh, zero volts. If all goes well, I'll press this button, and this suddenly jumps to now routing noise, and you can hear the filtering here. In my demo, I would now demonstrate the, the flanger, and I think you probably can hear that if the audio is coming through correctly. Um, as my demo would progress, as I would ex uh, explain more things, I'd switch over to a cube flanger here, so we just switch filters, again under control of that, and now we've got uh, um, zero control volts, so I can again manually describe the different results over here as I'm doing my demo, and then I'll press it again. <laughs> now these three satellites have jumped into three out-of-phase LFOs, so we're now making the um, uh, the Morpheus dance around with its frequency response. My next step in my demo or performance would be to switch filters here. So I've now switched to an ADSR over here, an LFO over here, and a high pass, uh, low pass filter here. So I can now fire off um, 
Oh, that's the LFO. Fire off the ADSR here. Now for the next filter that I would demo, again, I'd step forward. This one has the ADSR on a different satellite. So now my envelope starts over here. Uh, so even though which control voltage was doing what switched in the middle of my demo, the satellites together are able to handle that. So that's a quick introduction to what I'm using satellite for. Uh, it's going to be shipping in a couple of months. Sells for $299, which is quite a bargain for all that functionality. And uh, um, that's that's the latest from Ross and Electro Music.